morning everyone. Uh, it's only right and it's so our duty to praise the Lord on the Lord's day. Yeah. Everything centered around our Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing that was created, nothing that was made without Him. And everything that was created and made is for Him. All right? But the funny thing is this. He also involved us. Giving Him glory involved all of us. Being an instrument. Well, even though we are not worthy, but nevertheless, He gets all the glory while He sanctified us on this earthly journey. So, I, I want to you know, say that it's our duty, uh, it's our responsibility. God won't get better if you praise Him. He is maximum. He is full all the time. But when you praise Him unceasingly, we get better because we get closer to Him. Amen. Okay, thank you Tony for well church service. Uh, thank you very much. And also the worship team. Thank you very much. Now, today <clears throat> I'm here to speak on a topic. It is, I give it a title, The Invisible War, which means a war that cannot be seen. But it can be realized. It cannot be heard, but it can be taught. All right, the invisible war. Of course, it's about spiritual warfare. Now, I I want to say a short short prayer before we go on this very important topic. All right, it involves all of us, the church also. Father, we give you thanks. So enlighten our heart. That from each and every word from scripture spoken, heard, be realized and taken seriously that Lord what you have prepared for us. Lord we give you praises, you are worthy of it all in Christ's name. Amen. Now, the problem with spiritual warfare, alright, there are two extreme attitudes in regard to spiritual warfare. First one, one is being overly obsessed. Obsessed. You know, have you heard a joke before? We blame the Satan and his demonic spirit about everything. That is why sometimes I crack a joke in saying that if Satan is in this church or at the corner, he must be hiding at the corner or squatting down at the corner saying, everything will don't blame me. Everything will don't blame me. You get a bit of flu, you blame me. You walk and you trip and then you blame me. Everything will don't blame me. I got nothing to do with all these things. All right? So, do not be overly obsessed with the with the reality of Satan and his demonic spirit. But the other one also no good. Just as bad. The other one is completely oblivious. Or previously don't care. Don't care. We go on this side, you know, we go on this side thinking, yeah, God is there, but the devil and Satan and his demon spirit they are not reality. That is not what the Bible teaches. This is not what the Bible teaches. If you go there, if you dig deep into the scripture, you'll be surprised how much has been said about Satan, demonic spirit, and all his scattered and uh, you know the principality in here. So what do we do? Should we be upset or should we just ignore and go there? The right answer is this. We need an understand of spiritual framework to address it or to treat it or to understand so that a Chinese proverb says when you know the enemy well, you can be better prepared. You know, Chinese they believe when you go to the war, they study 
the enemy, you know, his arsenal, his, his way, his tactic, so that you can be more prepared to fight him. All right, so this is my introduction, right? Do not be too upset and yet do not just ignore because, because the Bible gives us a framework to understand this very important topic. Okay, what is said about this ongoing or we're going to address five areas. Who and how this enemy is like? Where is the battlefield? How he fight us? How he tempt us? How he lure us? Right? What are the weapons in the enemy's arsenal? What does Satan and his demonic spirit do? What weapon do they have? What must we be aware of the enemy's nature and strategy? I repeat all the time, what is said about this all going on, you know? How much Satan and his demonic spirit are involved in our daily life, right? Who and how this enemy is like his nature and then his strategy. Where is this battlefield? Does it deal with us physically? Alright? What are the weapons in the enemy's arsenal? What weapon does he have? What must we be aware of the enemy's nature and strategy? Now, let's confirm us. Let's confirm with the word from scripture first. Alright? Scriptural affirm spiritual warfare. Now, before you read this, let me tell you John 10 10. Jesus said, The thief or the devil, you know, he got all these names, right? He's here to steal, kill, and destroy. And he compared the devil's nature and intention with his own. I'm here to give you life. Okay? Now, let's begin with John chapter 12 31. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will, now will the ruler of this world be cast out. Now, up to John chapter 12, Jesus was very much in public ministry. Right? Before, here almost at the end, because when the, at the beginning of chapter 13, all the way to chapter 17, Jesus taught public ministry, right? This is one of the last things he told the people in public. Chapter 13 onward, and he reads up the very night. He spent very intimate time with his chosen apostle, chosen disciple then. And he related a lot of them to, to a lot of things to them. Even to a point where he said a prayer to God the Father in the hearing of the disciples. That is why chapter 13, if you want to be intimate, if you want to go more intimate with our Lord Jesus Christ, read chapter 13. No more public ministry and all the way to 17. You mark this down. Five chapters dedicated to just one night. On one evening before Jesus was arrested and then tortured and put on the cross. Alright? These are gems in, 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 in the Gospel of John 30 to 70. You cannot, you cannot, you have no time to be intimate with the Lord if you don't study this five chapter well. Alright, so here, now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. Ruler, no one rule the whole world. We have king, we have prime minister, no, they only rule one country in a physical sense. So when Jesus said, the ruler of this world, funny, eh? actually God did give him a permission to temporarily run the world. But in a way that you may have may have mistaken. But let's, let's go on, okay? Now, Luke chapter 13, 16. And or not this woman, remember the woman, right? The daughter of Abraham, the pure Jew, and whom Satan bound for 18 years. 
We lose from this boy on the Saturday. Remember, this ailing woman. Remember the blood issue and all that, huh? right? You see, even Jesus, in this uh, uh, situation or circumstances, he mentioned Satan, which means, right? This woman, Satan has got something to do, huh? Something to do with Satan, the ruler of this world. But not necessarily the way you and me understand. Now, I pay attention, pay attention to this uh, 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 the next half an hour or 40 minutes. Please pay attention so that you know, so that you won't end up being oblivious or being overly obsessed, okay? Right? So even Satan, even Jesus here, He's not exalting Christ. I'm sorry, he's not exalting Satan. He's just introducing and affirming the reality of Satan in existence, which means he is real. Okay? Now, next one. Luke 22. Simon was the new one. Simon, Simon, behold! Satan demanded to have you that he might sit you like wheat. Remember? Huh? Because, you know, Jesus was telling Peter, you, you, hey, hey be careful, oh, because what you have been revealed, what you have been told, what you have been given, you know, Satan may not be very happy about it. Satan knows that Peter is going to be, you know, you know the, one of the apostles, the foundation of our, even our present church. Uh, that's why he said, Behold, Simon, Simon, behold me, look, 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 continue. Behold is different from see. See means you, you can just glance and then you, 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 you look away. Behold me, gaze at it, look, pay attention, look, and you know, look at it for some, you know, look at it for a long time. Do not just, just gaze away and then look other things, do not. Satan demanded to have you. Satan, Satan demanded. It means Satan has been, in a way, negotiating with God. That I want to have you. Well, if you think that sounds funny to you, read the book of Job. Read the book of Job, right? The book of Job, uh, God also, you know, in, in fact, God was the one who instigated Satan to have a bargain with him. Look at my... Look at my 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 my, my people, Job. How people is ah yeah lah, because he's so rich ma. Well, he's so healthy ma. Of course ah, you remove all these things from him. See whether he will curse you on the face. You remember? Uh, in fact, God was the one who instigated for Satan. We have a wonderful God. We have a God that we can. Slowly, from scripture uh, revelation, we know him. One of the reasons I came to the Lord very firmly, right, uh, when I was you know young, and then later my my trust in him, my faith in him, by his grace, of course, that gets strengthened. You know why? He is different. God, who is reviewing scripture, is different from all other so-called God. That God, all these small God that people make up. I always challenge because sometimes I say, if you are given the liberty, Joshua, Master, if I say you, you please write me a book about God. You are not a Christian, huh? right? You don't have the Holy Spirit, right? You have no spirit. You won't write God this way, lah. that is for sure. Lah. You will write about God that you know you so perhaps you will say he's holy, but he's all the way, all the way indescribable in such a way that human can easily understand. You will definitely write like that. You will definitely end up the ball and then and so that you can sound million because people read all people understand. When I dig deeper into the word of God in scripture. I cannot stop. I cannot stop. I am a very, I, I am a devotee in the book of Job because I want to know suffering. Job was said to be the first book in the Bible written 
if you are not. I want to know why, who I am. So each time I read deeper, and I'm led to another area where I need to go deeper. Now all this is not just for hate knowledge. Right? Yes, it's knowledge. It's, it's the knowledge in the head. But never tell it, it will be translated into, into some, some, some sort of a leading, guiding, you know, it can come in a form of principle, it can come in a form of counsel, it can come in a form of encouragement. The whole counsel of God being made real in your life. <coughs> that is why I have never turned anyone away when they ask me about anything. Then he said, Pastor, you, you always give answer from the scripture. I said, you think man's wisdom is better? Even some of the man's wisdom are okay, acceptable, they actually come from the Bible. Okay, so Satan demands to have you that he might seek you like we be careful because you see Jesus affirmed by saying to his so-called top disciple then you know, the one who is the most talkative, the one who's actually uh, you know uh, in the early church uh, he was he was said to be the leader. Now Mark 5 9 and Jesus asked him, What is your name? Remember? Well, I remember there was a man uh, some, uh, uh, bound by uh, uh, some, 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 some evil spirit. Remember? Jesus actually ran straight. What is your name? Yeah. Jesus said, I, uh, you don't pretend. Uh, I, uh, you are uh, you're having just uh, uh, epilepsy. Uh, you know, uh, epilepsy? You know epilepsy? Uh, or you are just having some sickness. That's why you me, that's why you uh, you're so powerful and all that. Uh, but now Jesus went straight to the point for our sake. What is your name? He spoke to the man, but in reality he was speaking to the demon spirit that possessed the guy. So what is your name? Jesus wanted a name. So that we all now today understand from scripture he personalized jesus personalized that that, that incident what is your name Do you know he personalized so that we will know we will take this seriously what is your name the spirit spoke through the mouth of the message my name is legion for we are many now, in Romans, a uh, uh, military uh, 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 organization, they have this word legion. Huh? Now, some say it's, it's supposed to be six to eight thousand, some say more. But anyway, it doesn't matter, all right? We are not arguing about that. But uh, simply say, the meaning of the word legion means we are many. Remember, we are still affirming spiritual warfare. Here. Job 2 says, And the Lord said to Satan, is the word Satan printed in, in the Bible, Behold, he is in your hand, only spare his life. Remember, I told you earlier, Jesus, uh, sorry, God instigated uh, that, that uh, uh, challenging Satan to do something. All right? If you think that he is faithful because of this, okay, I let you. Have him do whatever you want. I just cannot kill him. That is why I always make this emphasis. Even to unbelievers, you know, Satan can do a lot of a lot of torturing, a lot of disastrous things, but he cannot kill the person. From this word, we can affirm. Life is in the hand of God. He gave and He takes. Even anyone that eventually, right, because of sickness and because of this and that, he died and all that, it is because God has allowed him. That is no question about it. But Pastor, he, he was, he was, he was, he was drunk and he was driving. Oh, why he killed himself? Why, why do you say he had God to do with God? I tell you, God is so sorry. 
and so supreme, everything had to check with him for permission. <laughs> he may not have done it directly, but just the same, he allows it. You get okay, what I mean? I am sure a lot of people have attempted suicide, maybe not among you. I, 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 I am a member of a suicide hotline befriended for many, many years. 20 over years, 25 years. I'm one of the council, I'm one of the council of befrienders. Uh, especially for those who say, I want some Christian counseling. Uh, they will usually refer to me. They will refer to me and uh, the guideline is I can only speak on the phone. Uh, but sometimes I skip it. I usually end up meeting the person. All right, but I spare you some of the God grace story. Uh, today, happily married and comparing to 15 years ago, this lady called me. She said, I'm on top. I, I'm, I'm at the at, uh, 10th floor. Uh, I'm about to jump because of some very sad women, uh, right? But he did not. So we met up with, she, she met up with me. And then uh, counselor, eventually she overcame, came to our church for one and a half year. Uh, today she's happily married with a son, very cute. Huh? I hope one day if you happen to bump into her restaurant somewhere near Subang, China, somewhere in Subang Airport, as you tell me, it's a Yona restaurant. But I, I should not mention the name, okay? But, uh, no. So he, Remember, uh, spare his life. I believe God said, spare all our life. I give, I will take. Amen. Now, spiritual world, just one more. Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. And the great dragon, another name for Satan, was thrown down. The ancient serpent is another title, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. <coughs> He was thrown down to the earth, and his angel was thrown down with him. This is this was is a reference to the book of Isaiah, right? Later we go on that. Now you see. Now I'm just trying to share scripture uh, 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 with you to affirm the reality of Satan and his demonic spirit, whatever he's called, you know, deceiver, you know, dragon, you know. Now, Ephesians 6 12, <clears throat> Paul also affirmed it. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the ruler, against the authority, against the cosmic power over the pre this present darkness, against the spiritual forces in the heavenly places. Paul also affirmed it. Right? So there is no doubt affirmation of the reality of Satan and his demonic spirit is all over the scripture. In fact, right from Genesis, right from Genesis, right? Satan disguised himself as a snake, as a serpent, and then he twisted God's word, he challenged, he challenged and Eve and Adam and their God. Uh, how cool it is. Okay, now, who and how this ultimate uh, enemy is like? Isaiah, he was right to sound the, uh, to sound the book of Revelation, make a reference to him. If you want to know the origin of Satan, uh, we don't get much from the scripture. Uh, I believe God, when compiling his authorized uh, 66 book in the Bible, he reckoned, God reckoned, or oh, oh, even Christ our Lord reckoned that we, our human, with our limited mind, with our limited understanding, we cannot grasp too much. Honestly. We, you know, if we reveal too much to us, we probably will go further. And today we will be you know, waking up, talking about, 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 about devil, and then at night also talking about devil. So we literally do not do anything else. So God, you know, in his wisdom, know what should be given us, what should not. 
That's why in, in Deuteronomy, you know, it says what? The secret belongs to the Lord. The secret belongs to a person in God is so selfish. He keep all the secret. No, God mean that 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 must mean God said, no, in due time I will let you know. An amount or a volume that you can understand. But for those who seek me today, uh, we're living in time of great spirit now. Great spirit, anyone who 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 is who is who is uh, who who earn uh, who yearn to know God, who love to know truth, to know Christ. There's only one way. You cannot think. You cannot think that God Spirit will just help you. Spirit most of the time work with the word of God. So when you go deeper into the word of God, seriously, uh, sincerely, humbly. The Lord will give you more and more and more. Okay, now in Isaiah chapter 14, 12 to 15. Now, this is a, a, a glimpse of the introduction of, uh, of Satan, the origin of Satan. <coughs> How are you falling from heaven, O day, O day star? All right. Different, different translation and a little bit different word, but no. Son of dawn, how are you cut down to the ground? You who laid the nation low. Remember, this is old fashioned writing. Huh? You say in your heart, there are five things. Satan, he was an archangel, a very beautiful angel. Probably one of the right hand men of God, but he is a created being. He is not God. But when he has been given so much of power, we all get very proud, just like human. When you are too successful, when you are too wealthy, when you are too popular, the only right, the only the thing that rises from a man's heart usually is pride. Be very careful. And then in your heart, Satan, just like Satan said, I was, I will ascend to heaven. I mean, even though I am a creator, being an angel, an archangel, a god. In fact, I'm already there. I, I want to be where God is. Okay? Second, I will set my throne on high. This devil says, uh, pride, let him, you know, to say this, I will set my throne, which means I will make a throne for myself. Throne is for king to sit. In heaven, it is only God who is qualified to sit. The, I will sit on the mount of assembly in the far reaches of God. I will, I will ascend above. That means I will be high above all creation of God. I will be high over all things. He's exalting himself to a point where he is God. He is the creator. He is the Almighty. Right? And I will make myself like the Most High. The fifth day he couldn't hide. He actually want to be like the Most High. He want to use her. You know what he use her? He snatch away, rob something from someone. And then but you are brought down from shore. You are brought down to the hell. One day you will send to the pit of hell, to the far reaches of the pit. He is Satan. And yet, <clears throat> he still doing his stealing, killing, 
work while we all still live. Luke chapter 10, 18. And he said to them, Jesus told his people, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. This dialogue, Jesus, without preservation, make a statement which man, I was there. When Satan fall like lightning, fell, he fell. When God banished him to the realm of this warrior, it could have happened million years ago. We don't know. We don't want to calculate. We cannot even calculate all this. But when Jesus made this statement affirmatively, he said, I was there. Jesus qualified himself that he is one of the triune person on God's sake. Triune member, that means God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ himself, and God the Holy Spirit. That means from the very eternal past, Jesus said, I was there, I saw Satan fell like lightning. But here we learn two things. Jesus is from the eternal past with God and the Holy Spirit. Right here, he also is indicating that Satan fell from his realm among the angelic worship, the level uh, of art and good. But he took along one third of the created angels. One third. Okay, who and how this ultimate enemy is like? Why Peter? Be sober minded. Peter told us or reminded us be watchful. Right? He didn't say, ah, uh, be ignorant about it uh, or be option. He said, be watchful. Your adversary, adversary means enemy. You, the, your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Satan and his demon spirit, one of their never ending job is to kill, steal, and destroy. Especially among the faithless one among the unbelievers. Okay? Even among <laughs> the believers, they still try to steal, kill, and destroy. Their full time job is to steal, kill, and destroy. And I'm sure they go extra time, over time. Because why? One of the scripture verses gave us. <clears throat> he knows he has got no time. Satan and the demonic spirit is not like us. We are living in a time of grace, which means, you know, uh, Christ died in our place, all right? Uh, his righteousness imputed to us. I mean, even though as terrible as we are, we repent, his grace should lead us to repent, and then one day we will still be with God. No matter how bad we are, when I say how bad, please, I want to glorify. I don't mean keep on sinning. I'm talking about as compared to God's perfection, His holiness, we are just bad, right? Uh, but as we keep on repenting, keep on depending on Him by grace, in humility, we still be with God. I believe that. What Satan is doing. Satan and his rebellious army of fallen angels, they are doomed. They have been actually sentenced. Uh, just a matter of time. So, of course, he get angry. Uh, and of course, he get angry and then he try to lead as many as possible uh, to the place where he destined to go. Uh. That is the pit of hell. Uh. He's trying to play around. Uh, but, I'll keep that later, okay? 
Praise the fact that you can uh, Satan does not deal with you physically, right? But among, I want to qualify this. As I have shared in our Zoom session, uh, right? I, I have a few encounters of uh, some demon spirit possessing some people. I don't know whether you are Tony or there, right? Remember, I spoke to this girl, you know, all of a sudden her voice changed, right? It, she's not a believer, that's for sure. And then uh, uh, she comes from a background, a lot of uh, uh, indulging, you know, the uh, idolatrous, uh, and, and also very deep, you know. And then her voice changed, then I keep telling him that, you know, uh, in Christ's name, you know, I, I sort of uh, rebuke the spirits in the crowd, and then all of a sudden she, she just so. I have a few color one in a way. Uh, he, he, I was talking to him, his back was facing the wall. And then I also, you know, you know, I also don't know what to do. I only operate as fast as I know how scripture is said in Jesus' name, all right? The authority is I I, I reveal I command. And then all of a sudden he just fell back about three to four feet on the wall. Only a real testimony. Uh, but since we are, we are talking about this topic, I, I just mentioned a few too. But I did share some on our show teaching. Alright, where is this better view? John 8, 4, 4. You are. Jesus rebuked the Pharisee and, the, and the, all those. Uh, you are of your father the devil. And your will is to do your father's desire. desire. He liked him, all these Pharisees like, you know, say, he was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. He's truthless. Satan is truthless, but surely he's not truthless. <laughs> right? Because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character. For he is a liar and the father of lies. Now from this verse, we can derive and understand why right? Satan most of the time don't deal with, especially believers in a physical experience. He deal with lies. His arsenal is lies. But how do you lie to a person and, 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 and the person will give in to the lie or the persuasion? It's the mind. It's the mind. Acts 5 3. You remember this? Alright? Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. We have collected our faith. If not, this happened in time. You know this story, yeah? Alright? But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to give back for yourself and part of the proceeds of the land? Right? And Ananias and uh, you know, his wife, you know, uh, a couple uh, in the beginning of that church, they have sold a land or a part of the land. They lie right, as they give to the church. As they give, they lie and say, We have given all. Say, uh, You have sold the land for five million, right? They give one million to the cost of the church, all right? But they lie. They lie and say, We have given all. You know, when the church first started in the books of Acts, the Holy Spirit moved so strongly. Move so strong, and almost the same time, just a left of couple, both of them were killed on the spot. God does not, in a way, say, Give me all the money. You know how I will kill you? Paul, did something that came from your cheerful heart. Give our willingness. Give cheerfully, happily. Don't lie. You don't have to lie. 
If you have so puzzled them for five minutes, you say, I will give you a church with one million. I think God will be happy. God has a lot of teaching on keeping money. You know? I hope one day as we return for our Zoom, I, I want to share something. Big big away, all right? Big business teaching topic about money, about finance, about how we get, who we should get. But anyway, to cut the story short. Okay? Now, what are the weapons in the enemy's arsenal? Pain and passion. Double pain. Remember this. God, sorry, Satan, his asana, his weapon is pain and pleasure. Uh, let me give you, go to an unlikely example. When Adam and Eve were tempted by serpent, you may think that it's no pain, but there was pain involved. You know why? Remember the serpent asked, you think God you know, you think God said this, you think God No, he's trying to instigate and Adam and Eve, which in a way caused pain. God does not want you to know as much as he knows. In, in today's language, I mean, God is very selfish. He himself is very prideful. He does not want to share all with you. Even though that is true, because God wants to make sure that you are not pumped up or pumped up with pride. And then you fall like lightning, fall like devil. But the thing is, it causes pain to the hearer. Joshua, let's say, huh? you tell your son, I, I like you, so I always quote you. That one very annoyed, I cannot uh, <laughs> So, Joshua, so, so, let's say you say to your son, uh, I love you with all my heart. So, your, your son must be very happy, right? But you, you say, but I cannot tell you all. I cannot teach you all. Like those Chinese Kung Fu fighting, you know? I won't teach you the last one. Huh? I won't teach you. Your son hears that. He may give a bitter smile, but he walk away with pain. Thinking that <clears throat> you love him to Celeste then. But don't ever say you love me, love me all. Am I right? So pain does not come in the form, not necessarily come only in the form of uh, uh, physical pain. Of course, physical pain is real. Uh, that is why a lot of Christians, okay, I don't talk about unbelievers, uh, right? So they don't have the covering, they don't have the hedging of the Holy Spirit. They have no truth, no word, nothing, no church, all right? So they are all, they are all followed up uh, in the trap of Satan, right? Okay? Uh, but then for believers, sometimes when we go through pain in the form of physical, as we age, especially as we age, as we age, we have, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, many, many organs in our body start to fall apart. Uh, let's be honest, our knee, you know, no strength, uh, you know, right? So, Satan sometimes will come and instigate, right? Holy, uh, sorry, the evil spirit cannot possess a believer, that's not that I'm sure, but he can oppress you. Oppress you, oppress me, hanging around on my say, uh, you go to church, also don't know you. You see, how many times you saw, and I don't know what they have you, you still don't get you. Or maybe you get you one day, one day, they come back again, worse. I don't point when I got his story on top of me. Pastor said, my lucky turtle on top of me. You see, you succumb to this sort of instigation, this sort of oppressing. Uh, instigation is because you don't know, sorry, because we don't know enough of the word. I have fully accepted as I age. I'm all prepared not to go to old folks home in your home now. <laughs> I'm, prepared, I'm prepared anytime the Lord takes me away. Yes, yes, yes. 
Shall we see? I asked the Lord always, but Lord don't let me end up in hospital, in now, in now, in now. Just send me away. I don't know whether you all or you will answer my prayer. I hope so. I hope one night I could sing and then tomorrow, Dr. Wan get a call. Pastor Sam passed away. In his sleep. Hallelujah. I have written many songs. God is coming back. I have many, I have written many songs. One day I'll come and share with you. I'll give you the MP for you. I've written in Chinese. Yeah. Then, God, Lord, you are coming back. We can't wait to see you. To know you in, in, in the form of knowledge, some scripture, it's just not enough. My appetite or my heart is not satisfied. I want to see you in person. And then the chances is the Lord said, Come and see me now. <laughs> Tony can wait. Joshua can wait. You want to see me quickly? Come, come and see me now. I'm going to take the spirit away. Anyway, pain and pleasure. All right. So for many of us, you know, the Satan can use pain, suffering in all kinds. But at the same time, he can use pleasure. Right? Man, woman, gambling, drinking, alcoholism, drug use. Right? Money, wealth, popularity. Lies, lies of the lies. Sometimes he's smart enough not to lie. To faithful men like Tony, you cannot lie to them because immediately he will open the scripture. Thou say, the Lord says, oh. but the Lord, but the oh, I can't tell you how. Uh, uh, the, the, you know what Satan said? Say, ah, yeah, I don't like to this guy, I know you want to see the chairman also read scripture on a low play video. <laughs> For no one or two or more. If you come more time, you go on or you end up like a messenger in your preaching session. And then, but the devil said, this guy, we exaggerate. We exaggerate. We use the way of exaggeration. But to those who are less firm in scripture, to those their foundation is a bit shaky, they say, let's twist it. That's why the, all the churches are exposed to this element. Right? Pain, pressure, the weapons huh? of Satan and the demonstrate lies, exaggeration, twist. Twist and exaggeration, even lie, will have a bit of truth there. Right? You don't exaggerate our nothing one. You use a little bit of truth to exaggerate. Right? So lies is actually you 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 change the truth to, to something that is not true. Right? Twist, you twist it. That's why I stopped pastoring in our own church because I I just wanna end up you know, my last stage of life, you know, fine. Sometimes speak to those with a bit of foundation in scripture. So that I can learn together with you. So that you have a firmer the understanding of the whole council. Right? From the Old Testament all the way to the New Testament. And interesting enough, even the book of Revelation, the future. Okay, so quickly. Huh? Now, 2 Corinthians 4 4. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the mind. Your mind is the better view of the unbelievers. Your mind is controlled, your actual emotion follow. Nobody walk away from here today without first the mindset, go. You need to go to the toilet. You don't move your body before the mind instructs you. That is why it's always the mind. 
blinded the minds of the unbeliever to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Unbelievers are prevented from coming forward to be in Christ because they have been, their mind has been blinded religiously, ancestry worship, all the horoscope play, you know horoscope play, and all the worry, uh, idealism of success, their mind have been blinded. Even to believers this morning, I say to all of you, we must be aware of the enemy's nature and strategy, okay? He lies, quickly, huh? he lies. He blinds the mind of unbelievers. I, I bullet them so that it's easier for you to follow. He lies, he blinds the minds of unbelievers even the believers, okay? He masquerade in costume of light and righteousness. All these are in scripture, you know? All right? He masquerade. That means he, 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 he go and, you know, make out and then dress this uh, uh, he, he masquerade in costume of light. And then some people will say, you know, I see light, I see light. I'm sure you read a lot of books, right? Heaven is real. I don't know why I'm given a ministry. Sometimes I like to go into enemy territory. Since I put on my house of Go on. I have Buddhism book. The shop. No. I have all these books because I want to make a comparison. I want to know the ways of the enemy. So that as compared to the original word of God in my Bible, I know where they have gone. You understand? I said I go go on the Bible for this for uh, Muslim Christian or uh, <laughs> Okay. So right, you come to my house, I'll show you. <laughs> and then fourth thing, he does signs and wonder. He sometimes does signs and wonder. Why? Right? In isolated places. Let, let me quickly say this one, okay? He does signs and work. In some isolated cases, holy, the devil spirit does manifest in a visible way and sometimes even in a visible way. In isolated cases, this is not a standard norm. You, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, you read scripture, you, 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 have, you, have to, you have to believe what I'm saying is true, right? He was the man who was bound by the devil spirit, and then he was so strong, remember? What is the name of the, of the, of the evil spirit that is holding you? Legion! Especially unbelievers. Especially unbelievers who indulge a lot in all the idolaters. You know, they go to graveyard, uh, they ask for a number per child, you know, Toto, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know they, 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 they have a lot of ways, you know, uh, they, they have some way, they, they purposely look out for pregnant women who died in their delivery. They say these are the most powerful spirit. So within one week, they will go to the graveyard. Uh, serious, uh, no joke. I say you go, uh, I don't know you go. <laughs> when I was very young, uh, I used to be invited by people going to all these places. But they didn't go to a game one. I say, what game? They <laughs> say, we are visiting a woman who died in, in her, you know, delivering a baby. Oh, I say, you don't know. <laughs> I've been to great down with friends, you know, go and bring beer and all that. Uh. Please, uh, I was a sinner, uh, now you know, uh. still a sinner. Uh. I used to go with some older friends, uh, because they car, I don't have car, you know. So you used to, Strombana! That's why I love Strombana! Go to the great down, I say, I say, we drink beer here. 
time of the, the graveyard, you hear the people, the spirit, I said, the spirit. The spirit can give us number. You know, the one who drove us there is, is older. They always buy Magnum, Magnum, Magnum. Then one day, a serious, ah, uh, the Lord stopped me. They said, we are going to do something exciting. They said, we're going to visit a tomb. Just a week ago, a pregnant woman died. You know what? Like, when you're young, when you talk about drop water, you know drop water? <laughs> well, what you know what? Really? Uh, go, go. Uh. <laughs> hey, I got something wrong. I got something wrong. Today, you know, I got a day job. Uh, I got a day job. Uh, oh, I, I have to go. You, you go ahead. I may join you later. Uh. I fly. Uh. I think that point on what the Lord stopped me. Seriously. Because these people, all these old friends of mine, all ended their life in a very miserable way. And this is how unbelievers open up themselves to all the demon spirit. Okay? But here he said to all of you to warn you. All right? All right, he does signs and wonder. He may give you a number you strike. Okay, he can people people to sing. All right, we're still talking about his weapon. Huh? He can people to sing. All of a sudden, today you're so holy. Just come out of the church, so holy. Because Pastor Juan, you know, just preach of someone of purity. So you left the church so holy. All of a sudden you walk across the road. All of a sudden a girl who very pretty, very minister, walk up. No more holy. <laughs> the holiness is immediately gone. Because why? If you walk up, you, you know you must look at the car coming, you know. But still, He tempt people to sin. He used people to tempt you to sin. Okay? Quickly, yeah? What must be right now? Number six, he twists and downplays God's word. He, you know, he instigates people to teach God's word in all sorts of funny, 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 funny. Yesterday I saw on Facebook a pastor say, uh, last week preached on the church. Uh, not here, la, I love it. Definitely not as your way, I love it. He said, Have you read every 60, all the 66 books in the Bible? Oh, very theologically power. Oh, you know, then he said, If you have not read, don't eat. Then when you go to heaven, huh? when you go to heaven, and Peter usher you into the sanctuary, or right? other into the house of God, then you meet Zechariah. Wow. So pretty, oh. Zechariah. Zechariah, you don't need, do you know who I am? Even though we call him that Zechariah. Zechariah, who, who is that? Uh? <laughs> Prime Minister or something? Uh? <laughs> Zechariah, I am the author of one of the 39 sick uh, old testament. You don't know me? Then all of a sudden, Nahum. Lucky the Lord. The book of Nahum, where are, where are, where are? So this preacher was saying that you go to heaven. No, that is wrong preacher. That is terrible allegory. That is terrible. I wanted to write something. I'm the, I'm not, I cannot reach them. They are big. But they teach all sorts of things. Twist and down they go. Provoke human pride. He causes some sickness and disease. Ah, let me tell you, okay? For unbelievers, uh, the devil can cause a lot of sickness and disease. But be careful. Believers, alright? 
some sickness that we do go through, I believe. Right? There are some instigating, instigating consequences of the death. Okay? Now, I, I cannot I cannot explain more than this. I'm just saying in isolated cases. In Sonia, in Sonia, I guess it. And a few more, right? But if I mention to you, I, I have to, I have to, I have to qualify what I, why I say this. Okay, right? In some cases, number eight, he's a murderer. He's a murderer. He's a murderer. He, he especially to the unbelievers. He led people all the way to their graveyard. And, and, Right. He accuses and curses believers before God. That is why one of the outstanding in the world of Hebrew, Jesus is still working. I was asked whether God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy are working. They are all working in their respective sphere. Right? Jesus is still in, in intercessing for us. Right? He's still interceding for us. Right? You know, he... You know, when I was saying, Satan is still allowed to approach the throne, you know, and say, you see, look at this one, look at that one, your people, your people, people, no. Yeah, and then see, and then Jesus being your advocate, being your intercessor, say, yeah, I, I, I know, but I have died in this place. My righteousness has been imputed to him, not his own anymore. Ah. Last one. He is not God equal. Satan and his demons, he is not God equal. Don't ever think that he is God equal. But he is a defeated foe. He is a defeated over and over again enemy of God. Okay? Yeah. Now, one last verse here. I, I, this is not a verse, right? But uh, 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 I mean, I'm going to read some, a few verses, but I want to encourage you just before we end the sermon. Huh? 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 3 to 5. Now, for though we walk in the flesh, we are not waging war against the flesh. The flesh. For the weapon of our warfare are not of the flesh but have divine power to destroy stronghold. How do you, being Christian, uh, being people of faith, uh, how do we fend up? How do you fend up? Right? Ephesians talk about the full armor of God, right? The shoe, the sword, and the helmet, the belt, and all that, the, the shoe. But we, we don't go and go to the, we don't go to Rome and buy a full set and put it on. Here. We destroy argument from the devil. Believe lie, be it uh, exaggeration, be it you know twisting. We destroy argument and every lofty opinion, lofty mean high opinion, higher than the word of God, raised against the knowledge of God, and take every thought what captive. If you are full of the word of God with the help of the Holy Spirit, that is what we say today. Put on the armor of God. The Holy Spirit and the Word. Which you, are, you have weapon to, to, to actually attack, right? And offend, and you are also have weapon to defend and shield. But never just sum up in this way, Paul. We destroy every argument, every temptation, every lie, and every, every high opinion uh, of the devil raised against the knowledge of God, raised against the truth of God. And take every thought captive to obey Well, the Holy Spirit will sure use the word of God. Now, when I say Satan is the least part of God, which means today the message is about Satan and his demonic spirit. You know, I, I don't want you all to go out and say, oh, Satan, I can't just overtake. I know, but you all know, the devil is going to kill me, all right? <laughs> no. 
the devil or Satan himself is the chain for the law. You know what I mean? And you ignorantly walk past some houses, some terrace houses, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the dog a big wing behind you. All of a sudden, boom! My house, uh, even though we stay in condominium with my girl being my neighbor, uh, I could see from my balcony uh, opposite there, there is one row of terrace houses. The first half of two. You know those small little dogs? Uh, big, huge one! Uh. Every time people walk, uh, I beat it at all. They go and jump. Sometimes they jump in the morning. <laughs> if they don't have heart attack, die of the morning jogging, they will die of the scare. <laughs> so, the devil can scare you to death. Make sure your heart is strong. Go to gym. Don't drink and eat sugar so much. Uh, uh, don't do it. Uh, don't know you are. <laughs> Right. Go gym, go swimming, go have some sport day, right? Swim well. Uh, think about the beauty of heaven, the things that belong to heaven. So even though all of a sudden the chain, the leash parking, oh, the gate is there, you get that frightened, but you don't die of heart attack. <laughs> Hallelujah. Understand that? Huh? Okay, so don't overdo the reality of devil, huh? all right? But do not be ignorant also. Uh, I hope today teaching give you uh, an understanding, all right? Okay, so make sure he tell you to sit down. Make sure you walk past some girl with short skirt, uh, be careful. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Amen. So shall we stand? Uh, finish. Uh,